just wandered into a lady you never met before his funeral. Why exactly? Something about that little girl. She's just five and she already needs a liver transplant. I'm gonna put together a press kit for Michelle, get corporate donations, that kind of thing. We don't need to be running around worrying about money and bills right now. I just want to be with my family. That's about saying yes and then figuring out how. Girls, help your daddy out. <laughs> Thank you so much for allowing me to chat with you guys about Ordinary Angels because it's such a beautiful story. So, John, I want to start out with you. What stuck out most to you when you first got the script? Well, it was such a wonderful read. You know, like when you make movies, a lot of times people send you scripts and they're hard to get through. And even if you see potential in them, the script that got brought to us was such a compelling story, was so unbelievable. And so we immediately were like, we would like to make this film. And Lionsgate had actually brought it to us as a project that they were passionate about. Oh, you want to go on an adventure? Mm -hmm. And so we said yes right away. Michelle will need to fly 700 miles to the Children's Hospital. Are you telling me we need a plane now? How exactly do you recommend we get a plane, Doc? I'll get you a plane, I promise. How is it meeting the real-life Sharon and Ed? Kevin. What's funny is the real-life Sharon is just like what Hillary Swank portrays. She is a, a firecracker. She's a firecracker, <laughs> a bundle of energy, and she still has that energy today. What's funny is we took her to an event that was like a couple thousand people on stage and and she she started talking she had the crowd's attention and it had a standing ovation by the end of it i mean she's just a wonderful human being and she it, came up to me afterwards and said hillary swank played me to a t <laughs> <laughs> the roads haven't been plowed the airport's closed honey listen it's it's too dangerous i have to make it this is our last chance if we don't take it michelle dies Someone's got to do something. Someone's got to fight for her. But one thing I know for sure, that little girl now has the entire city rooting for her. So how is it working with Hillary and Alan, the duo of them? I mean, man. I've been such a fan of Hillary Swank literally for, you know, 15, 20 years and couldn't believe that we got her, right? So you're just grateful to have an actress that good, somebody you're a fan of. She's a wonderful person. And then to have Alan Richson, which was such a surprise to see this guy who we had met talking about other projects, because he's like an action star and he's Jack Reacher. But in true life, like when I sat down and met with him, he's got a soft heart, he's a father, he's got kids, a man of faith, like a sweet spirited dude, kind of a big kid in this giant body. And we thought like, wow, he could play this role and would make it so surprising. And to put him up against Hilary Swank, the two of them are just dynamite together. You're not just worthy, Sharon. You're a miracle. 